I think this is the most awaited section from the deep learning course. Lots of people ask me to create the tutorial how to merge the tiles after predict, uh, predicting from deep learning model. So in order to do that, I'm going to use the GeoTile package, which is over here. So this package is available freely on the GitHub uh, under my profile is name is GeoTile. And if you like the code and workflow, please hit the star button. That means a lot to me. Let's go back to the code. So here, so first thing is you need to like import this package. So simply run it uh, and then install it. And then after that, you can import it with the from GeoTile, import GeoTile. And after that, you need to like initialize this package with your large image. And based on that, uh, you can simply like predict all the uh, all the like tiles and then you can like merge them back and then get the single image. So here I already uploaded my file xtest.tif in the Google Drive uh, in the same location is DL water bodies and I'm going to use the same file uh, to predict the uh, deep learning like water bodies so here you can see the width and height are quite different than the our model input which is 256 by 256 so but uh, I'll, I'll show you how to like predict and save it as a single file okay so the first thing is uh, to generate the tiles of course we can generate the tile and then save it internally with the save tiles equal to false option and then i also try to provide the stride x and y value because this time it's just the prediction and we we don't need the overlapping of the image of course if you want you can provide like leave it as a default option which is 128 by 128 but i recommend you to like not to provide the overlapping area and after that of course it's I showed you in the previous section so we need to pre-process the data which is convert none to zero and then also normalize the tile that will uh, normalize our tile values between zero and one and after that if you check the like uh, some of the parameters so tile data dot shape there are 70 tiles it can produce and which are like 256 by 256 by 4 size which is exactly same as the model deep learning model input tiles shape and then the maximum and minimum value is 1 and 0 and then data type is fluid 32 and after that you can like predict your test model dot predict based on the uh, gt dot tile data but this time i think i forgot to initialize my model over here so let me go back okay i need to run this cell so it will load my model after that only i can like uh, do the prediction so after that i am simply doing model dot predict on my gt dot tile data so the tile data shape is over here so it will try to predict and then uh, if the prediction is greater than my threshold value which is 0 0.5 then i call it as a water otherwise i ignore it i i say it's a it's just the background so after that so my prediction is done after that i need to like uh, add that prediction on the tile data attribute and yeah so after that i can like save my tiles into the prediction prediction tiles folder so you can say whatever folder you want so it will just save the t files into the one particular like directory okay so it might take some time and after that the the next step which is the final step is to like mosaic those tiles uh, using mosaic function so in the mosaic function we have 
to provide the location to achieve that tiles and then the uh, output name of that tiles so you might if i like do the refreshing over here you will get the like predicted tiles over here so these are the like tiles predicted tiles automatically generated from geo tile package and after that so i am simply mosaicing those tiles in the, into the predict merge.t file and if i check over here i should get that uh, get that predict uh, merge.tif so it should be inside water bodies and then uh, here it is okay so this is the like required file so i can download it and then uh, i i i can like visualize it in the qgis or if you want you can visualize it with the matterlib package as well but i prefer to visualize it with the qgis so which is over here in the download folder so predict merge and then okay so these are the like predicted water bodies from our model so yeah which is quite nice but the one thing is like if you notice it here so these are the not the water bodies these are the sands and then it uh, pretend like the sand is also the water body because in the training set also we have we don't have the like clear boundary of water bodies and then i think we we provide the sand is the like water bodies that's why uh, based on our model training it uh, learn how to like separate the water bodies from like satellite imagery but in this particular parts you can see there are lots of noise so these are not the water bodies uh, in in our like y true value so let me load that file also all right so this is the actual like level from our training data set and then this is the like predicted one so predicted one has like less i think narrow boundary of the water but in the uh, actual white test we have like very thick border and yeah it looks like it is like it predict uh, really well it did uh, detecting the water body good job but as i said before it's not the like actually good model uh, to detect the water bodies because uh, even in the training data set we have like classified the sand is a water body that's why our model is like predicting sand as a water body but anyway so the overall concept of this video was to like introduce yourself how to train your deep learning model from scratch how to prepare the data set so i hope you got the idea